Welcome to the Matthew Spencer Show. This is episode number three, and I'm so excited that you're here and getting ready to watch it. Maybe you've never experienced a Matthew Spencer Show before, and you're wondering, who's this guy Matthew, and what is a Matthew Spencer Show? Well, it's a variety show for the modern audience, and so you're gonna experience original cartoons, character sketches, uh, some short films, and of course, my original music. I know you're gonna enjoy it, and of course, the best way to tell you what it is, is to show you. So without further ado, episode number three, here we go. Once upon a time in Australia, there were a few little animals. One was a platypus. He was a jovial little chap. Quite friendly, of course, quite friendly. And of course, his friend, Cookie the Kookaburra. Now he was the real jovial one. He was friendly, most outgoing, and a little obnoxious. Everybody, I'm Cookie! Cookie the Kookaburra! He could be a little hard to take at times. And of course, then there was Timmy the Tasmanian Tiger. Now he was a little bit hyper. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, guys. I want to eat some food. I want to eat some food. I'm really hungry. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, oh, I'm really hungry. Ho, ho, ho. Now, one day, Platy the Platypus and Cookie the Cuckoo decided to go on a walk. And of course, in Australia, it's not just a walk or a hike, it's called a walkabout. So they decided to go on a walkabout together. Hey, Cookie, let's go on a walkabout, eh? Ah, great idea! Woo! They started walking at the ranch. Of course, at the ranch, there was many, many sheep. He saw them all the time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you were in Australia, what animal would you expect to see the very most? The kangaroos, of course. Boing, 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 boing. And finally, they ended in the eucalyptus tree forest, where they saw a little koala in the tree. Good day! Good day! He was a little chubby, he ate all the time. Good day! And that's all he could say every day was good day! At the end of the day, they had had a beautiful walkabout, and they looked forward to the next adventure they would have together. And now, in the news. Stan Nose, Stan Nose. Hi, I'm Stan Nose. You know, I know. Americans have grown to know and love me as that fatherly figure in media who little Johnny can look up to and trust to answer the tough questions in life and stick it to the bad guys. I shoot straight. You know that. When I sit down with Joe CEO, Polly Politician, or Hannah the Hollywood star, the American people have come to know me as the people's man, and that I won't throw any softballs their way. I get to the truth. I eat it for dinner. The truth. I get to the heart of the platter. The mat matter. I, I get to the heart of the matter. <clears throat> this brings me to today. I want to talk straight with you about a matter that hits very close to my heart. It deeply concerns me. And because it concerns me, I know it concerns you too. It's technology. Scientists tell us that in the next 20 years, robots will have taken over most of New York City. And also, a large number of the daily tasks we complete, such as putting my pants on and driving my car. 
I get to drive my car. I paid good money for it. As you know, our political system is already full of robots. Stop the madness now before it gets out of hand. This has been Real Talk with Stan Knows. During these challenging and troubling times, America knows Stan Knows. I'm Stan Knows. And you know, I know. Stan Knows. Stan Knows. And now, a special message from the Office of the President of Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to this press conference. Um, As you know, the President has been planning many months for this upcoming debate. Uh, With much time put forth and much effort, we have finally found a running opponent uh, for the President. Um, At this point, I will be telling you who that is. His name is Paul Crackers. Uh, We'll be hearing from both of them tonight. And uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, time with the debate. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the debate. I'm joined tonight by the President of Colorado himself and Mr. Paul Crackers. Tonight, we are going to be hitting on the most important matters of our state right now. I'm very interested to hear what both of you have to say, but mostly Mr. President. So please sit back and enjoy. Now, um, Mr. Paul. It is pronounced Paul. I'm sorry, Paul. Mr. Paul, the state's economy is crumbling at your feet. It's your fault. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to do absolutely nothing about the economy. I will let it crumble. Just like the cracker crumbles, I will let it crumble as well. For those of you interested, vote for more crackers. Hmm. The state's economy is crumbling. Just like a cracker crumbles, it's crumbling because of crackers. And I say, vote for crackers, vote for crumbles. Mr. President, You currently use real man's hair waxing potion for your hair. If elected president for the 25th time, would you change your sponsor? Stan, that's a great question. The president is always looking for uh, ways to add to his advertising portfolio. So if there are any other uh, advertisers out there, any other men's hair wax that I would be happy to endorse your product, um, just let me know. Yep. Give my old secretary a uh, little ringle jingle, and we'll talk. This man, he knows what he's talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your president, and I will fight for you. This is no joking matter. Colorado for all of us. That does not include Paul Crackers. Uh, Mr. Paul. It's pronounced Paul. Paul. You have gone on record as saying that you are uh, annoyed with the fact that Nebraskans love the color red. So you've decided to build a wall? Is is that correct? I will build a wall. A very big wall. Big wall. A wall that's bigger than the Great Wall of China. So big, it can be seen from Pluto. Vote for more crackers. Every time this man opens his mouth, I think, I can't anymore. I simply can't. The president is one of my best friends. I I simply worship the ground on which he walks, so I must ask you. If, by some miracle of God himself, you are elected president of Colorado, would you hold up this policy on the banishment of polar bears? You know, young man, That is an ingenious idea. Polar bears for everybody! Polar bears are what we need. Mm. More polar bears. Yummy, delicious, tasty, and cuddly (laughs) polar bears. (laughs) Thank you for joining us tonight uh, for this debate. I think it is clear to us who won. Mr. Paul Crackers, what a terrible man. Debate 2016 will return after these messages. This has been a special message from the Office of the President of Colorado. 
Hey everybody, hey. I'm just hanging out with my buddy Kooky. Say hello, Kooky. Hey guys. Yeah, okay, cool. We're just playing some jazz tonight. It's like making up something, but you know some rules, you know some scales, you know you know some notes, and you, just, you can make it up and take a solo. It's like singing because your heart's happy, right? Yeah. So what you do is you just go, oh yeah, this is jazz, jazzy, jazzy chords, yeah. And then you might start saying, well, let's do this. Oh, yeah! Ooh, I like that. It's some rhythm. You know, mm -hmm. get some rhythm going. And then what you do is you start singing a song, right? You say, like, jazz is so cool, right? So you say, mm -hmm. jazz, jazz so, is so, so cool, cool. Jazz. jazz. It makes, makes it feel, feel old school jazz. Yeah. Makes you feel so cool, jazz. Oh, makes you feel old school, jazz. Oh, Kooky, you got it, man. Take it away. Oh, jazz, it makes me jazzy. Yeah. If I had hands, it'd make me have jazz hands. Makes you feel so cool, jazz. Makes you feel old school, jazz. Makes you feel so cool, jazz. Makes you feel old school, jazz. Take a solo back, you. everyone, I am Trumpet Commando! Trumpet Commando! How did I get in this jungle, you may ask? Well, I'm not really sure, come to think of it. I'm a jazz musician, and I was just in Serenity City getting ready to play some jazz music with my jazz combo. Some old guy came up to me and handed me this ancient musical manuscript and said, You gotta play this tonight. You gotta do it right now. And I was like, What? And I said, Okay, well, I began to play the music. The notes began to leap off the pages, and, and then suddenly I find myself here dressed in camouflage and feeling very magical and powerful. All I know is that I'm Trumpet Commando. Trumpet Commando. Watch out, bad guys. I'm coming your way. <laughs> Makes you feel so cool, Jazz. Makes you feel old school. Oh, hey, Kooky, what's hey, up, Mario. man? Hey, man, that was a Woo! lot of fun singing with you there a minute ago. Um, yeah, I'm just having a hot chocolate here, hanging out in the mm -hmm. cafe, mm -hmm. uh, taking a break between um, filming sessions. Uh, what are you up to? Hey, wins poker! Thursday night, are we still on for poker? Um, let me see. Well, last time you cheated, ah, so, ah, uh, that's okay. You're ah, learning, right? Can okay, I bring my okay. friends? Um. Friends? <laughs> you can bring your friends. Oh, your friends. yeah! Um, the buy-in, though, is a bag of peanuts. So uh -oh. don't come if you don't have peanuts. Bag. You know, put up or shut up. Ah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Ah. All right. Oh, hey, by the way, I was going to say, I was going to ask you a question. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Did they last you yes! into no. the new number we worked out for you yet? A new number? It's a great, it's a great solo feature. Solo! Um, I think you're gonna really enjoy it. All right! It's a, a, a backdrop. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna, it's really you, Kooky. You know what I'm saying? It's really you. Yeah! Uh, you're gonna bring all your jovial uh, sobriety to it. Anyway, Kooky, hey! Uh, oh, um, I gotta go do another session. <gasps> Um, show's oh, okay. coming soon, so see you, see you later. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Matthew. I'll see you later. Let's sing some jazz! Woohoo! Thank you so much for joining me today on my show. I hope it gave you a few laughs and even maybe put a smile on your face. Until next time, I'm Matthew Spencer. Bye-bye.